fearful blessing. God will bless us and all the help shall fear him. I will say it again. There is a fearful what? Blessing inside fearful praise. When you give God a fearful praise, God <laughs> will return back on you fearful blessing. This morning, I preach in the morning, we have a master class, one, I started it and I handed it, and now I'm doing this again. After this, we're going to do talk to life again. You see, back to back. That, I said, is a fearful blessing, because it takes God, it takes God, it takes God, it takes God to do that which you will not normally do. It takes God to dare that which that you will not normally dare. We continue our teaching series today. On every evening, we have a teaching series. The teaching series for this Sunday, or for every Sunday, is what I call, what, what we title that understanding the wonders of total praise. There are wonders in praising God, but there's what we call a total praise, and there's what we call wonders of total praise. How what are your understanding that the things that you need to know about it? And we all know Exodus chapter 15, verse 11. God is always doing in praise, always doing wonders. But today I will be sharing with you, everybody around the world, give me like 10 minutes to unveil to you the hidden secret to, uh, to, to access God's throne. The hidden secret to access God's throne. It is no more a news that when you pray, God releases it. What happened? He stepped down himself. And today, while doing this study, the Lord told me something powerful. I'll be sharing with, let me tell you something, I don't want you to hear this in a kind of way. I want you to reason with me. Well, what about your daughter, after this, send it to me, my name on TV, and we're going to get back to you, we're going to rest for the back. We live to learn and we learn to live. Revealing, revealing the hidden secret to access God's throne. Revealing the hidden secret to access God's throne. Se help me to read it. Second Chronicle. We recall. Yes. Second Chronicle, please. Chapter 20, verse 17. Second Chronicle, chapter 20, verse 17. You shall not need to fight in this battle. Mm. You shall not need to fight in this battle. You Watching me right now, you're going to be watching me later. You shall not need to fight in this battle. When something is bigger than you, you have to pass it to the person that is bigger than that thing. When something is bigger than you, you know, in the military, when you make a request, it goes to somebody. Somebody signs it and goes to another person. Another person signs it and goes to another person. It gets to the man on top. They call them AO, admin officer, or they call them XO, executive officer, or they call them what, CO, commanding officer. When that man signs it and say yes or no, that determines your request will be accepted or what happened? Decline. So, who approves you, it should be mindful of that person. Who approves your blessing, the person that who has a future for you, the person who has designed your life. Let's go. Please. The person who has set you on a motion, the person who is ready to catapult your life to the next level. I'm talking about the person who knows you before you are conceived. I'm talking about the person who knows you while you are still a baby. I'm talking about the person who knows you when you are in the midst of chaos. I'm talking about the person who knows the end from the beginning. Say, you don't need to fight in this battle. You know, that's not my intention today. But I heard in my spirit that some people are fighting the war that does not belong to you. God said, I want to take over your battle. If you watch wrestling, and it's over two by two, when somebody is being fought, he's fighting, he's fighting, he's fighting, he's fighting. When that person that is on the ground can, miss, can by force go and shake hands, uh, tap hands with another person. When that person comes in, he comes in with bread. God tell me to tell you today, you are fighting. You are, you are tired. You are fighting and you are tired. You are fighting and you are tired. But you forgot you have an ally. But you forgot you have a support system. You forgot you have a God that is bigger than every trouble that 
you can see. I come to tell you today, Second Chronicle chapter 20, verse 17. You don't need to fight in this battle. Revealing, this is not a villain. Revealing the hidden when you pray, stay with me. When you pray, God will release angel. But if you praise God, God will step down by himself. I want somebody to get that in your mind. I want somebody to step into the reality of what God can do. No, I mean to step into the reality of what God has in mind to do. No, that's not what I mean. I mean to step into the reality that God is doing something on the behalf. You don't need to fight in this battle. I stand here today and I decree every battle of your life, every frustration that you are going through, every trauma that you cannot pass down, that only you are bearing it by yourself. By the reason of this world that is going forth, a change is coming for you in the name of Jesus. The Lord told yeah. them and said, hey, you don't need to fight in this battle. What do you need to do? Second Chronicle chapter 20, verse 17. You don't need to fight it in this battle. Second Chronicle chapter 20, verse 17. What do you do? He says, set yourself. Mm. Set yourself and stand still. Set yourself and stand still and seal the salvation of the Lord with you, O Judah and O Jerusalem. Fear not. Not be dismayed, but tomorrow go out against them. Let me tell you something. While doing my study today, the Lord told me, if you don't dare me to step out of the boat, you will never walk on water. If you don't dare God, if you are waiting for people's support, I mean, if you are waiting to approve, if you are waiting for somebody to check the mark, if you are waiting for somebody to pat you and say it's okay, no, nothing is okay at the beginning. Everything is okay on the go. I will say it again now. Nothing is okay at the beginning. Everything becomes okay on the go. I will say it again. Nothing is okay at the beginning. Everything is okay on the go. If you don't stop doing it, everything will become okay. If you don't stop believing, you will be healed. If you don't stop believing, your marriage will be restored. If you don't stop believing, you will be out of death. If you don't stop believing, your vision will come to clarity and will run with passion. Develop a product and serve your life. Serve your world. Nothing gets better at the beginning. That is why God, this is powerful. This year, this year, this everybody. God did not create man on the first day. Because everything that God created before man are less than man. So nothing gets better at the beginning. Everything gets better what? On the go. You know, a colleague of mine in our master class today that we did total men, he said something. He said there is quality inside quantity and quantity is a function of not you stopping persistence subtitle be clear leveraging on on praise for a total change leveraging on praise for a total change look at verse 15 of second chronicle chapter 20 second chronicle chapter 20 verse 15 he said and he said hearken ye all judah and ye inhabitants of jerusalem and thou king jehoshaphat thus says the lord unto you be not be afraid, not be dismayed by the reason of this great multitude, for the battle is not yours. <laughs> verse 17 and verse 15 has a powerful scripture to support you for this week. I mean, these verses of the scripture have the capacity, the tenacity, the capability that will remove you from liability because you come out with your ability. You get out of liability. God said in verse 15, for this battle is not yours, but the Lord, in verse 17, he said, ye not need to fight in this battle. The world, the year is going to an end. And people are struggling of how they want to do Christmas. People are struggling on how they're going to end the year. You know, as a chaplain, I work in hospital, and one of can make it somebody a man of 44 years or 54 he said chaplain i don't know if i'm going to sustain this year why he said the doctor told me i will die in six months and i don't know i've been waiting 
I ask him this question. When the Lord created you, where was the doctor? When the Lord created you, where are the medical practitioners? Let me tell you something. Not two things you need to come up from today if you want to assess God's throne by praise. Number one, know that the battle that you are fighting is not yours. Know it. That the battle you are fighting is not yours. The battle of restoration of family, the battle of coming out of death, the battle of raising godly children, the battle of living a healthy life, they are not yours. Listen, if you listen to people too much, you begin to think like them. If you listen to God too much, you begin to what? Think like God. Yes, I will say it again. When you at what you listen will determine your thought pattern. That's what I'm trying to say. I heard Bishop David Hill said, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Whoa. He said, anytime he traveled for hours, when he land on the airport, they take him in the car and straight to the venue to go and preach. When he finished preaching, pew, he's going back again. What? When I have to pass to Pastor Winner Tapos and Antonio, this is what I put. <laughs> I go in their mind. Anybody in San Antonio can testify to this. Anybody in San Antonio, when I come out from the airport straight to church to lead prayer, from, pre from, um, from church straight to evangelism, from evangelism back to church, ensure everything is set for Sunday service, go to my hotel, sleep a little bit, go back to church, pray overnight, get set, come back to hotel, dress up, go, and after that, straight to the airport. That's my life for 23 months. And guess what? If you can receive it, you have the capacity to become it. What am I saying today? Stop fighting. Stop fighting the battle that you don't need to fight. This battle belongs to God. This battle belongs to God. Listen, how we, can you transfer your battle, the battle of your life, to God? It's simple. Verse 22 of the same chapter, chapter 20 of 2 Chronicles, chapter 20, verse 22. It said, when they began to sing and to praise, Write this down. Praise is the highway of transferring the battle that you cannot undo. Praise is the secret pathway on why you transfer your battle to what? To God. There are some things that you cannot undo. That is how this world is designed. There are some conversations you cannot get into. There are some business partners that you cannot access. But if you can access God, God we access them. Let me tell you, in 2010, I was in Nigeria, in a quiet bomb state. And I was meditating. And the Lord told me, wrote to me, he said, yes, sir. He said, do you have anything that you want to get? I said, what? How? He said, you can get anything you want to get. He said, if you can get them through me, you can get them. I say how? Hey. So that's where I thought that I call it combo. First scripture God gave me. I was in my Bible, South Side Nigeria. First scripture, number one. It says Psalm 24, verse 1. The earth is the Lord, not to men. I live in the United States. And the Lord told me when I got here on the 12th of October in the year 2012. When I stepped into George Bush International Airport in Houston. The Lord told me, listen, wrote to me. He said, this place does not belong to America. It belongs to me. He said, the earth is the law. Take off your shoe and declare. When I declared, a year after that, I passed through the same airport as a citizen. U.S. citizen in one year. Write it down. The thing that God is here to do are the things that you are here to praise him for. God will never do it more than you can praise him for. He said, listen. As they began to sing and to praise, God did not send angel to listen to their prayer because that takes protocol. There are some things you don't need. Oh my God. You know, there are some battles in life that you don't need due process. You need instant process. Write it down. There are some battles that you don't need due process. You need instant process. There's some battle you don't need. Due process takes time. But instant process is what? It's now, now. Once you are faced with what you cannot handle, turn to God that can handle all things. I will say it again. 
Once you are faced with the things that you cannot handle, turn to God that can handle all things. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. It means when you get God into your situation, your situation has no reason. No bow to you, they bow to your God. The back we bow to your God, not you. I mean, in peace, in marriage, we bow to your God, not you. Whatever that cannot stand grace cannot stand God. And what that cannot stand God cannot stand you. Praise is the channel at which you transfer your battle to God. I will say, does somebody get it? You know, we just finished Hilo right now. And everybody... And I had something on social media. I said, after she know what next? People go back to their normal way. No. The fire is burning. The fire is burning. Step in. The water has been stirred. Step in. One way you can steer is step into that water. Like that man in John chapter 5 is for you to start praising God for 2021. People are complaining about this year. This is my best year. This is my best year. I decree for the few three weeks to get out of this year, may heaven open doors of opportunity for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Guess what? It is not about where you live. I live in U.S. truly, but I still have the mentality of a child of God. Somebody asks me, hey, wrote to me, where are you from? I never tell them I'm from Nigeria. He said, where are you from? I never tell them I'm from U.S. Where are you from? I said, I am from heaven. I was born in Nigeria, and now I'm a U.S. citizen. Whoa! Your until your mentality change, your locality will never be international. I will say it again. Until your mentality change, you will remain in your locality and you will never be, you will never live in the global world. Until your mentality change, you will retain your locality and you will never function in a global world. We live in a global world right now. That's why Bishop can speak for Mota. And everybody around the world grew to him. That is why Daddy Joe can speak in, in one of Everybody around the world grew to him. I took leaves to be able to attend Chilo. What are you talking about? In the pandemic, everybody come. It is not about him. It's about the thing he was doing secretly. Everybody can come. But that is. And then, give me time. What you need to know. What are the things that Bishop Edepo does? You need to know, sir. You need to know, man. Don't just beat up on people tapping them. Hey, hey, hey. No, 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 no. Slow down. If I don't know anything, I know this about Bishop Edepo. He's a man that transfers his battle to God. How could God told him that we are building 10,000 churches in this year of pandemic and everything shut down? No way. But guess what? God, write this down. Until you can break the protocol of men, God has not sent you to get the job done. Listen to this, everybody. Until you can break men's protocol, the assignment in your hand is not from God. I will say it again. Until you pray on YouTube. Until you can break men's protocol, God's assignment in your hand. practice before I know it before I know it before I know it before I know it before I know this thing I decree by the power in the name of Jesus wherever you are watching me from right now Facebook YouTube Instagram and you are stuck with singleness you are stuck you in, in, in marital trouble you are stuck in debt you are stuck in sickness the Lord of Bishop David Edepo stepping for you right now in the name of Jesus Transfer your battle to God by praise. <laughs> Transfer what? Transfer your battle to God by praise. Set a one week praise after Shiloh and start praising God from tomorrow. Seven days. And guess what's going to happen? I did it. The Lord brought me here. <laughs> Amen. Amen. 
Let me give you an example of somebody who step into, you know, who accepts God. You know, let me, when you pray, it's good to pray. But when you pray, it goes through what? Angels. Get well straight. The line of complaint and the line of praise. And the people murmur. First Corinthians chapter 10, verse 10. Read it. The people murmur and it displeases the Lord. And the Lord's anger was killed on them. Numbers 11, verse 1. So when you when you complain, it gets to God. When you praise God, it gets to God. When you praise, it pray, it goes through processes. Paul and Sarah, they have a sentence to die the next day. Libro can abba. Somebody watching me right now, you are in hospital. I don't care what devil, what devil has said through the doctor, or you hear you, or somebody important to you in hospital. I stand here by the anointing of God upon my father, which of David. I decree, and the one that's upon me declaring to you right now, you shall not die but live. Amen. You shall not die but live. Amen. Every part of your body. That has been stubborn. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Let there be light. Let the light of God go into the body, the cell, the organ, the tissue, the system, and light come back and straight come back in the name of Jesus. Yes. Paul and Sarah, they've received a death sentence. They're going to die the next day. If try to pray, nothing happened. The Bible said they switch to praise. So as the people hear them, those who truly pray God, praise, to, praise God, are mad men and mad women. If your madness is not acknowledged by people, your, your wellness will never be approved by God. Let I will say it again. If your madness cannot be acknowledged by the people around you, your wellness cannot be approved by God. Hey! Nobody gets that. Nobody gets that. Nobody gets that. Nobody gets that. I will say it again. If your madness cannot be acknowledged by people, people say, are you mad? What are you saying? What are you doing? No. If your madness cannot be seen by people, your wellness cannot be approved by God. Until you do what people cannot understand, God cannot make your understanding to become reality. Little Saba, Ibrahimo Kapaya, Yekebeke de Karaba Takata, Agaba Agabaraka, Yele Kotosu de Bra Akataba, Yele Ketapru Kitaba, Ya Ukabaka, Yaka Bakatara, Ibro Kotosili Akabaka, Yele Kratosu de Balika Toba, Yabaka, 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 Igabuka, Tusabili, Katabalabala. Anyone that has been marked for death, let there be a reversal. In the name of Jesus. Until God step. <laughs> Until your madness is seen by men, your wellness cannot be approved by God. That will settle it. That means until you transfer your situation to God that people cannot understand, God that people cannot understand will never step in to take care of business for you. Paul and Sarah, they understood this principle because life, this world is not governed, is not governed by, by A, B, C, D. It's governed by principles. The principle of profiting that, hey, let God receive what he needs, then you will have more than you need. Let God receive what he needs, then you have more than what you need. Paul and Sarah, they look past their death sentence. They look past the evil verdict. They look past the divorce. They look past the children that is not going to. They look past the doctor's verdict. They look past their lack of promotion. They look past the money that's going to their back account. They step in to praise God. They step in to praise God. They step in to praise God. Let go They step in to praise God. They step in to praise. Once you are in praise, you are not normal. <laughs> Praise makes you not to be a normal man. Little Suta, a Gabakuru Tiabaya Kadaba. 
If people can understand you during praise, they will stop your prayer. That was why the wife of David said, Are you okay? How could a king be trying to be naked in himself, calling me praise? Thank you, Jesus. When Paul and Sela do what God needs, then God step in. The Bible said, according to Acts chapter 16, verse 26. Acts chapter 16, verse 26. The Bible says, suddenly, write this down. There is always a sudden event if you suddenly praise God. <laughs> Oh my God, I wish somebody would come. There is always a sudden event if you suddenly start to praise God. There is always a sudden event if you suddenly begin to praise God. There is always what? A sudden event if you suddenly begin to praise God. There is always a sudden event. If you suddenly begin to praise God, you begin to praise God, you don't worry about what is happening. Lord, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All I have to say is thank you, Lord. That I say that I be Lord. It's you that I see. It's you that I see. Way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God. That is what the Bible says suddenly God step into the situation. As you praise God tonight, may God step into your debt. Amen. Your debt is cleared off. Amen. As you praise God tonight, your challenge marriage will restore peace. Amen. As you praise God tonight, all the children that is not behaving, they begin to be behave right now. As you praise God tonight, your angry promotion come to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. As they suddenly begin to praise God. There is always work to do to get what you want. Nothing is free. There is always work to do to get what you want. Nothing is free. There is always work to do to get what you want. Nothing is free. There is always work to do to get earthquake. Mm. What, why earthquake? When the angel came to rescue Peter, there was no earthquake. Peter was scared in a prison, just like Swan and Sarah. But earthquake is needed when God steps in. Lebraka, that's the purpose of earthquake. Because the earth cannot contain God. When God steps into it, baka, 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 everything breaks. Mm. The world breaks them in a clear way. When God steps into it, bah, death cleared off. When God steps into it, bah, your marriage that's going to challenge it is, is restored. When God steps into it, bah, if you are homeless, the God gives you a chapter. When God steps into it, bah, when you are jobless, you get a job. When God steps into it, bah! You that you are boring before, you begin to give people. When God steps into it, bah! When God steps into it, the game changes against your enemy on your favor. When God steps into it, the game changes against your enemy for your favor. That was why Jacob, when he wants to pray, he cross his hand. It's a sign of praise. You know, in Nigeria right now, there is a song that the people like that. That is in the realm of the spirit. There is a cross of anger that what you don't qualify for, you start to begin to qualify for it. The yes. place you don't qualify for, you begin to they, you, they begin to call you. The yes. money you don't qualify for, they start giving it to you. Yes. The place that you don't qualify for, they start giving it to you. Yes. The promotion that, that you don't qualify for, they start giving it to you. Yes. The the health that you have mistakenly damaged your own head. God said, I will restore. 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 Praise is a cross of end that makes you to get what you don't originally qualify for. Help me to write it. Praising God is a cross of end that makes you to get what you don't originally qualify for. Praise confuse your enemy because God will give you what you don't qualify for. Mavisa, I have a chance of time when there was no one around. God came and spoke his words to me. Praise we confuse the enemy. There was an earthquake. And something happened about the earthquake. The next time, it, the Bible said, the foundation of the prison 
We are shaking. Wale broke in Talayabada. What is foundation? Foundation is what you cannot see that is making what you can see to stand. Write it just like that. Foundation is what you cannot see but that is making what you can see to stand. There are some things your dad has done. There are some things your mom has done. There are some things your great great father has done. There are some things your great great mother has done. You cannot see them because when they did it, they don't put you into consideration. Once they steal the money, once they steal, when they break people's heart and somebody cuts them, you are not there. But they grew up, they have you. Once they have you, you are climbing, carrying the trouble on your head. But let me tell you something. If you something that you cannot see is troubling you, turn to God that you can see. The foundation shook. The foundation shook. There are some things that is going on, right? We don't sin. Adam sinned and we carry it. Your father and your mother, they are wrong. It's hurting you. They are wrong. It's hurting you. <laughs> but guess what? When somebody has done what you cannot understand, turn to God that you can understand. God said at the beginning of this word, He said, You don't need to fight in this battle. When devil wants to get you, He makes you to close your eyes. To the secret. He said, what about it? I now live in America. What about it? I now live in Germany. What about it? You are not living in August. Forget it. The devil in the house of your father, the God that your forefather were calling to get power just to live their life. They don't need a visa to come to America. They will get you on your bed. They will make you to miss by the prayer, somebody say by the prayer. By the prayer. God will step into the foundation. Amen. Stand up on your feet and say, God, step into my foundation. Now. Step into my foundation. Now. Step into my foundation. Step into the foundation of my life. Step into the foundation of my life. Let up a shot of Evil foundation that I don't know. Evil foundation. The wrong of my father. The wrong of my mother. The wrong of my sister. The wrong of anybody around me. Lord, as you step into the foundation, you said the foundation was shaking. Let the foundation shake for my sake. Let the foundation shake. Foundation shake. Take your seat. Foundation shake. Mm. What that means? There is no foundation that is laid, but the one that is laid by God. God will remove old foundation and plant a new one. Then you will get out of debt. You have upon that. When God remove your old old foundation and you have a new one, you have been experiencing divorce. Now you have a good family. God remove your old foundation and give you the new one. Then you have been believing God for immigration paper and you now have it. God will remove the old foundation and give you the new one. That there will be peace wherever you go. That it will give you the promotion that you need. Guess what? Once you begin to experience the thing that you don't see, that means God has stepped in Amen. for your foundation to be restored, to be removed, and a new one to be planted. Foundation. Shook. And the Bible said, immediately all the doors. Normally, <clears throat> when, when, when a, a, just one door lead to the prison of each prisoner, just one door, the Bible, which is sword, which is look, look happened to be a medical doctor, is well named. And this guy was saying, when Paul and Sarah were praising God, the Bible said, the doors, all the doors were open. What are the doors? There is a door, there is a spiritual door. When that spiritual door opens up to you, you will be in line with God. There is a door of relationship. When the door opens up to you, right people will come into your life. When there is a door of favor, when you get to everywhere, they will consider you first. There is a door Amen. of the hand of God. You don't need to be there for somebody to speak for you. Amen. You don't need to know them for them to say you are qualified for it. Amen. There are doors that need to open to you. There are door of utterances. When you speak God, then we speak what God, people will hear God. Amen. Hey. Lift up your hands and by praise. By praise. Let there be an open door. Let there be an open door. By praise. By praise. Let there be open doors. Let there be open by praise. By praise. Let there be open doors. Every closed door that has shut in this 
my destiny. Shout against my effort. Shout against my investment. Lord, Lord of heaven, let there be open doors. Let there be open doors. Let there be open doors. In the name of Jesus. Amen. When this door opened for Peter, he has been toying all night. Let me tell you something. In the school of professionalism, in the school of success, professionalism is not needed. Write it down. To be successful, you don't need to be a professional. You need a word. They call it revelation. They call it revelation. Peter, a professional fisherman, toyed all night and nothing happened. When he let down his boat for Jesus, and Jesus Christ sat on the boat and I was about preaching, Peter was getting discomfort. He said, what is happening to this man? Can I just go home? I have had a failed night. I don't want to be waiting at the seaside again. But when he allowed Jesus, by he allowed Jesus, by praising to God, and after that, the Bible said, Jesus looked to Peter. Luke 5, verse 4, 5 and 6. He looked to Peter. And he said, Peter, cast your nets. Ah, get this right. Peter only have one net. I want to say, cast your nets. Write this down. Once you praise God, you are double qualified. Amen. <laughs> Everything that has been outstanding in your life, that January refused to let go. Everything that has been outstanding in your life that February did not supply. Everything that has been outstanding in your life that March and April refused to release. I mean, everything that has been outstanding in your life that May, June, July, August, September, and October refused to cooperate. By November, and November said no, you will not go. By this month of December, I speak right now as a man speak of God, and I say towards your direction. I said, launch out your net in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you step into work tomorrow, guess what? A letter of recommendation Amen. for higher place is waiting for I you. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Amen. This is not a jabra kajabra. God says the Lord. I don't want you to believe what I'm telling you. This is a God. Praise set heaven in motion. Making them to qualify, making you to qualify for what you double more than you need. How could a man have one net? And Jesus Christ said, He said, Spread your nets. And because he was stubborn, Peter was a stubborn guy, they called him rock. He only spread one net. And what happened? The boat started sinking, and the net started breaking. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. If you can praise God, you are double qualified. Amen. Every praise worshiper. Anyone who can praise God regardless of the present situation, you are double qualified. Somebody say double qualification. It's on your praise. A double qualification. It's on praise. Double qualification. It's on praise. The last word is not just foundation that we shake when you praise God. It's not just doors that we open when you praise God. According to Acts chapter 16, verse 26, the foundation shook. Uh, what do you call it? Immediately all doors were opened. And the last one, they call it everyone bound we are loose. This is in your Bible. Read it. If I'm lying, check me. Double check me. Do you know what bounds are called? When somebody is arrested, what is the first thing that police tell you? They handcuff him. Limitation. God will set you out of limitation by praise. Amen. By praise. Limitation. Beautiful lady, no husband. That is limitation. They put limitation to your beauty. Mm. Many certification, no job. That is a limitation of career. Mm. Good body fit. Yes, you go to hospital once a month. That is the limitation of good health. Mm. You go to church, you serve, you give. There is nothing to show for it. That is the limitation of your service. But according to praise, foundation will not just shake. Doors will not just open. Everyone bound shall be loose. Amen. I speak as directed by God. Ezekiel, other day, and I decree tonight, 
If you can dare to praise God, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, one hour, tonight, your limitation shall be removed. Amen. Every sin that has been cut on your head that you cannot go past it. God will break the ceiling for your instant praise in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. For your instant result in the mighty name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Write this following thing down. What is in praise? Number one, praise is all you need to have all your needs met. That is simple. Do you hear what I said? Praise is all you need to have all your needs met. Number two. Praise is professing God's capacity over what you are not capable to do. Praise is professing the capacity of God over the situation that you are not capable to handle. Praise is declaring God's ability over what is causing you a liability. Mm. You have tried everything but nothing was working. But by praise, something will happen. Somebody say amen. Amen. So praise is all you need to have all your needs met. Praise is professing God's capacity over what you are not capable to do. Praise is professing God's ability over what is putting liability in your life. <laughs> number three, or number next, praise is what you need for you not to ever be in need again. Praise is what you need for you never to be in need again. Number next, praise is what removes your power and invites God's power to conquer all powers. Praise is what removes your power. I say, Lord, step out of it. You don't need to fight in this. Remember, it's not by might, it's not by power. But my, my spirit says the Lord, right? Praise is removing your power, inviting God's power so you can conquer all powers. That's the, that's the power of limitation, the power of foundation, and the power of doors shut against you. I'll say that again, that's very important. Praise is what is what removes your power. Why inviting God's power so you can conquer my power? All power. Someone shout hallelujah. hallelujah. And the last one here, right, is that very important. Praise is looking up to God. Praise is what? Looking up to God. And when you look up to God, your eyes are going to be lighting. Psalm 34, verse 5. When you look up to God, your eyes what? They are lighting and they are not. Ashamed. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Write this down. This is important. I'm not saying you should believe this with me, but let me tell you. Today, I heard in my spirit, God told me, wrote to me, everybody has a price. What? Yes, everybody has a price. And do you know what I heard next? Is that including me? You hear what I said? God told me this evening. He wrote to me, I have a price. What? What does that mean, God? He said, if you want to get me on the move, you can get me. There is a price tag attached to God. What is it? God said, listen to this. If you can praise me, you will get me. Little Subaba, Eketuzu, Dean Braki, Takabodu. Gaba. Little Sutini, Biakata. Zakabu, Shakana, Malak. Zalak, Nerebota. Today, be baptized with the spirit of grace Amen. to praise God all the time Amen. so you can get God anytime. Because everybody has a praise, including me. What? So my price is praise. If you can praise me all the time, you will get me all the time. That's somebody, that's that is a key. That is why I title this. Why I title this? Revealing. Because everybody all praise before, right? Revealing the hidden secret to access heaven's throne. Stop listening to news. Start praising God. Forget about the verdict from the doctor. Start praising God. Praise is challenging God to eat. Say, God, yet I face you now. It's me, you and I. Is it that you help me or you kill me? That some people might not believe me, but God told me, and I will say it. 
I will say it. God said, everybody has a price. Help me to put it on blind. Let it be there. I want somebody to see it. So they will start sending me. I want to see it, babe. Everybody has a price, including me. He said, my price is praise. Because when God created everything, he never created praise. So you can give God thanks and nothing will happen. But when you praise God, something must happen. Let it be written. You can, you can give God thanks and nothing will happen. Thanksgiving is appreciating what God has done. Praise is provoking the person of God to do what you want him to do. You can pay, you can pray and give God thanks, nothing will happen. But if you praise God, something must happen. Praise is God's price. <laughs> that is either you settle with it, wrestle with it, or do whatever you want with it. It's personally for me. I just give it to you. This is not, I've not heard this name. I'm a dying art follower of Bishop. I have most practical in Bishop and I'm going to say Bishop in winner before we step up behind my own. Everybody has a price. He said, My price is what? Praise. He said, If you can praise me all the time, you what? You will get me all the time. That is a bingo for somebody. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. <laughs> That's why God said, He said, Listen. Let the people praise me. Psalm 67 verse 5 to 7. He said, let the people praise me. He said, if the people can praise me, the earth will yield an increase. And what happened? He said, God, if you praise God, he said, God will do a fearful blessing to you. Because what God can do is fearful. Nobody can stop him. And I decree, as you receive the garment of praise, God will begin to experience fearful blessing from God. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. It's not enough in Psalm 67 verse 5 to 7. It is much more enough for us to see Exodus chapter 15 verse 11. He said, who is like unto thee? Who is like unto thee? O Lord. Who is like thee? O Lord. Glorious is no name. God's holiness is good. When you are, when you are in, in holiness, God will be proud of you. That's what you believe. Glorious in what? In holiness. In lesson. He said, fearful in what? In praise. You will never see how dangerous God is until you praise him. He break protocol. When, what's the name of this guy in Luke chapter 1? Zechariah. In the time, he was, praising, he was praying and he was serving. What would his God release? Prayer cannot get God. God sent somebody to help. But praise what? Invite God. Praise invite God. God's glory in your holiness, but he's fearful what? In your praise. And what happens when he's fearful? When a fearful God steps in, the Bible says, doing wonders. I decree, in the next 24 hours, for as many who can hack into God, this instruction, and praise God, the things that you have never seen in 10 years will surface in one day. Amen. In the name of Jesus. 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 Amen. You know, example, like I said, in Acts chapter 12, Acts chapter 12, from verse 5, when they, when they captured Peter, the church was praying, they didn't praise. What happened? God released angel. Angel came and you know, took Peter. Peter was out. But nobody could pray for Paul and Silas. Let me tell you something. Those who have reason not to praise God, we have a reason to die. Somebody say, God forbid. He said, why I cannot praise God? Because I'm tired. I cannot praise God because I've walked. I cannot praise God because I don't know how to pray. No, you make your own music. You shake your own body. You are not dancing to wax a record. You are dancing to praise your God. Do your thing, however you want to do it. Dance anyhow. In 2010, I met with God. God told me, to me because when I fasted for seven days and I began to roll on the floor, roll on the floor. These are my secrets. And the Lord told me, stop. And the seventh time, he just stop. He said, to me. He said, now I've opened to you the windows to abroad. He said, you have been waiting for people to bring something from abroad so you can enjoy. He said, now you will be in abroad and begin to send things home. <laughs> 2019! Press, bring reality of your vision. Oh, I will say it again. I will be book after. Press, do what? It brings reality to your vision. There are many things that is far spread right now. But by press, they happen. Paul, get God. When you don't have who to lean on, lean on God by praise.
Peter doesn't know what to do. God sent angel. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. You remember, uh, David, who run God? He can't tell the people. He did say so. God said, don't. And when he did it, guess what? God released an angel and started killing, started killing, started killing, started killing, right? People read Psalm, Samuel chapter, uh, 2 Samuel chapter 24. The angel was killing when he got to a particular place in verse 16. The name of that guy is called Aaron. Do your own study. I'm not making things up. When he get to that guy's house, God said, stop. Stay now your hand. The Bible said, God repented of himself. I said, God, why? This guy has been killing. Why must you stop? God said, what you stop? He said, check the name of that person. When I check the name of this man, do you know what his name means? It means a joyful sound. I know. Mean what? A joyful sound. I can imagine as the angel was killing everybody, God was angry with David and was killing everybody. I can just see that much. I can see walking in my favor. I can see you fighting on my battle. I can see living in my miracle. Here we do. I can see everything turning around. It's not a man. It's just, it's just, it's not, it does not just mean a child of praise. It means somebody who prays God all the time, around the clock. You don't know when the enemy is coming. Praise make the hand of the devil to what? To stay. Write it down. Praise. Put the enemy to stay what? At bay. This guy has been, and most of people are dead. According to the Bible, thousands of people have died for what they don't know. It's in your Bible, read it. It was David that, that, that did wrong. And when God's anger came, he started killing the people. But somebody stopped the hand of God. As you praise God today, you will stop the hand of evil one in the name of Jesus. Say, hey, stop right now. So, who stopped God's hand to stop killing is a man who knows how to praise God. I have never heard this preach anywhere. God gave it to me. Can I tell you something? That thing that has been causing trouble in your family, you will be the person that will stop it. Amen. Amen. Lack that has been ravaging your foundation, you will be the person that will stop it. Amen. Divorce that has become water in your family, you will be the person that will stop it. Amen. Borrowing who has become a way of life in your family, you will be the person that will stop it. Amen. But the key is here: you must be what person that what that praise God, both morning and evening, shout for joy. Somebody say I will shout for joy. Somebody say I will shout for joy. Somebody say I will shout for joy. Listen, let me give you an example, Peter. Pray, they pray for Peter. What happened? Angel came. Paul and Sela pray. What happened? God stepped in. So, God was killing people through the angels. I will not praise God. God stopped. Guess what? There is a king. In Herod is his name. The same chapter 12, in verse 21 to 23. He gave word, and the people said, This is the voice of God. Immediately, God sent angel to destroy him. Is this it? If you don't give God praise, you will invite destruction. It, and it's not a, it must be an instant praise. You are owing God. Last week Sunday I preached it, right? I said, pay your debt, you are owing God. <laughs> Immediately, verse 22, the people gave a shout, saying, it is the voice of God, not of man. And immediately, verse 23, after chapter 12, verse 23, the angel of the Lord smote him. Exodus chapter 20, verse 3 to 5. One of God's names that people don't know is Jehovah Jealous. I pray that as you hear me today, as you praise God for just 5 minutes, for just 10 minutes, what about 15 and 30, what about 45 and 1 hour, God will come out upon your Amen. head and give you that thing that you want Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the next 3 minutes, how can you leverage on praise for change? Number one, Ahead to God's instruction. God is not your mate. God does not look for your advice. He commands you. When he commands, what happened? Hacking to him. Ahead to instruction. Number two, set out in faith. Don't think about it. When God said, give me praise, what does it mean? Give him praise. Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. Number three, watch God do his wonder. He's a wonderful God. 
What he knows how to do is what? Is wonders. Mm -hmm. And as you begin to praise him, what happens? Wonders will be your the order of the day in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Number four, keep engaging God's instructions. One instruction does not, God's instruction does not expire. Isn't that powerful? I will say it again. God's instruction does not have what expiration date. Once you say it once, you can engage it forever. And it will keep giving you impact. If God brings your enemy down right now, he will bring you down again. Just keep praising him. That's why I keep engaging God's instruction. And the last one is that get ultimate resolve. Somebody say get ultimate resolve. Get ultimate. When you praise God, you will get ultimate. You will see the thing that you have never seen before. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lift up. I receive the garment of praise. I receive the garment of praise. Pray that prayer with me in one minute, everybody. I receive the garment of praise. 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 In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Can I tell you something? Another thing that I check about Arnold is not just a man who shouts for joy. It's a man who has a bond with God. You cannot shout for God to praise somebody that what? You don't know. Music is a combination of, of noises that what? That are bliss. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Music is what? Combination of noises that will agree. That is why when somebody, when instrumentalists are present and people is singing off key, they say what happened? You are not in line, you are not in tune. Some people say you are off key. For you not to be off key tonight, you have to be in line with what? With Jesus. If you are listening to me right now, I want to tell you that Jesus is the highway to God. And God needs a praise to, give, to, to, to do one that thing for you. Somebody shout hallelujah. So wherever you are around the world, and you know in your knowing that you don't have a bond with Jesus. I want to invite you today. There are three things that we do here. Your surrender plus your connection will give what? Salvation. It means once you can give your life to Christ and you connect with everything that you have, your eternity is guaranteed. Wherever you are around the world, are you watching on YouTube? Are you watching on Instagram? Are you watching on Facebook? And you know you want to praise God tonight for a total change. Guess what? Lift up your left hand up and put your right hand on your chest. And say this after me, Lord Jesus, I'm all yours. I know that you died for me on the third day. You rose up again that I might be justified. Right now, my sins are forgiven. I'm a new creature in Christ Jesus. All things have passed away. All things have become. Sing praises to God and nothing will stop me. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Clap your beautiful hands for Jesus. Even as you take your seat. Amen. Mm -hmm. Tonight, everything that you are hearing here, it has nothing to do with winner. We are church, we are just using the streaming platform to bring so many words of God. So tonight, whenever you are watching from, one thing I said, never be compelled. Be led. Never be compelled. Wherever you are around the world, the one of the things the Lord said, He said, Don't come to my house empty. Nobody with Bishop never taught us to, to, to say, Stand up now, give up now. No. I've been in winter before we have our own church. It's not ever compelled. Amen. So tonight, it's often time if you are led, you give. If you are not led, what? Don't give. I've said it before. Never be compelled. Be what? Be led. Everybody around the world, and you know, the emails to give our offering is online. Palacechapel at gmail.com. If you are led, please, if you are not, I'm saying it again, never give. God is not in need. Amen. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. Lift up your offering. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I have sent your word. And this word makes the word complete as you give. Lord, anyone who has lifted up your hands today, let there be a multiplication. Amen. Amen. By this seed, Every trouble in their life slow down, crash, and become a valley. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. This seed is turned to be a seed of hundredfold Amen. of same day return. Amen. Amen. By this seed, greatness knock your door. Amen. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Please cast your seed in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. It is communion time. We take communion to Lord Jesus. In the medical world, they call it blood transfusion.
tra blood transfusion. Amen. When you do blood transfusion, it makes you not to live by your own power again. Why do we take communion? You take communion for God to live inside of you. He said, whoever eats my flesh and drink my blood, what will happen? Have eternal life. And I'm saying it again. I want, I want, I'm being led to tell you this. If you are not led, never give. I, the first serious sacrifice that I give was $5,000. The last serious sacrifice that we give was what? $5,000. And when the Papa called Bishop's sacrifice, God, I don't want to say, the Lord said, build one of the churches. That's what God said. And he said, God, how? That's 40 million. You know, if God cannot speak to you privately, he will never com command you publicly. So if you are watching me right now and you feel uh, he has preached now, he has said, but I never ask you for money. I said, give offerings. I'm making an understanding that with God doesn't need your money. Amen. Amen. So anybody who is making your decision, you make it, make it to God. And God that sits in secret, we what? We reward you openly. Lift up your hand. By this communion today, sickness disappear from your body. Amen. Amen. Whoever eats my flesh and drink my blood has eternal life. Has eternal life. If you are watching me anywhere around the world, get bread and get juice. And I will pray on this. By this communion, you will never go down in pain. Amen. Amen. Somebody says strength. 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 Somebody says strength. strength. Come upon me. By this communion, you begin to live in the body of Jesus. You begin to live with the blood of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. For as many that have given today, your hand will never go down. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So shall it be Amen. in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Please partake in your communion place. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Worship the name of the Lord and lift up your hand. Thank God for the word. 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 Revealing the hidden secret to access God's throne. I love it. I love it. I love it. Thank you, Jesus, for your word. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Please, for those who want to connect with our ministry, the email is there. Palacechapel at gmail.com. Or you send email to what? My new don't put it up, please. Palacechapel at gmail.com is the direct email to the church. And if you want to connect right through my new uh, my new don't uh, new don't TV is my new don't. Can we put it on Facebook? Can we put it on YouTube, please? Send the email there. Somebody shout out the Lift up your hand and worship the name of the Lord. Say, God, we give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We give you all the adoration. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. I decree upon you. May your hand never be weary again. Amen. May your leg never be weary again. Amen. There will be a freshness from heaven on your heart. Amen. Your brain will begin to walk in a dimension that you don't know before. Amen. May your hand begin to write your future. Amen. May your leg be at work to make Amen. it happen. Amen. Right people, God Amen. will send them to your life. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every word that you have heard will find speedy fulfillment in your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Receive the peace of the Lord. Amen. Like a river in the name of Jesus. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Let us share the goodness. Surely God's, God's goodness and mercy shall, shall follow us all, all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. It is my turn to shine. By the empowerment of Holy Spirit, we will rise and shine. Give somebody a nine five. Say, I have, and I have the secret to access those throne. I now have the secret.